Yeah, for the recording, it's like, well, I don't know. I don't want it to, to tank my FPS, especially with that giant ship. Mm. Especially with the, what, what was it called? The star... Uh, Star-nosed mole? Mm. Star mole. That's what I was going to call it. A star mole. Nice. The, the animal you're thinking of is a star-nosed mole. The star-nosed mole, yeah. But yes. It's, yeah. And so I think we have a different level of effort that we have to expend. Because if I remember right, you're free to pretty much just time warp all the way there, do your thing, and time warp all the way back. But I have to design and construct and orbit Oh no! the de-orbit craft, which I am not sending to Drez. Oh no, why not? I'm sending no parachutes or anything of the kind that... to Drez. Okay. Because they are just not useful there. Hang on. Right, so before they get back from Drez... I have to put something in orbit that can get them back. And all it has right. to be able to do oh. is get one Kerbal from low Kerbin orbit or so. But then how do you arrow break properly? I mean, do you have a we'll good, see. good enough I, intuition? I might not. <laughs> I, I mean, I just may not arrow break at all. Okay. Oh, I, I see. Enough, you might power yeah, down. I put enough fuel in the electric stage... That I should be able to just deorbit, or not deorbit, but capture right without any arrow breaking. Wow. All right, let me get this. Uh, what is this? Star mole. There it is. The star mole. Watch my FPS drop to three. Nice. All so right. yours is like a a scepter. Yeah. So the the main drive for outgoing. Are these two? You should probably point with the cursor. Yeah, these Just two. Just uh, recording, but yeah, whatever they're called, nuclear okay. engines. Mm -hmm. And then down here. So what's what's this at the bottom? Yeah, is okay. that just so leftover this fuel? Is the or? Whole, this right here is the whole electric transfer stage for the return trip. Oh wow! This is a leftover monopropellant tender that helped dock all these. Oops. Oh, okay, so you're just going to burn that things. yeah to, to get started. But it has lots of mono. Oh man, practice, nice! So I'm going to burn the whole thing on the okay, way out. Okay, and then, you, but then you have to turn it around because it's facing the wrong way. Yeah, it would be good if I could get this down here, but this doesn't have any uh, mono propellant okay. thrusters or any mono propellant, so it can't oh, do no. that on its own. Okay. And I have somewhere near. Can't you just here, transfer it? I can, internally. I could take this thing over there. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it doesn't even have any thrusters. No, it does. Look at it. No, this does. So okay. this is a probe that's sitting not far away. Yeah, I remember seeing it in your video. Um, no, I mean the so other there's one. The big ship are you over sure here. it doesn't have any thrusters? Mm -hmm. I think so. Look, those are. What are those? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are just for this guy. All right, so I probably can do that. Where did I? Where did I hide the monitor propellant in this thing? <laughs> I clipped so just, many just things go, together. Just go into monitor propellant and see what the monitor propellant. See where it shows up. Oh, just the can. Oh no, that's it. Well, right? that's because enough. I only you... need this for the very last. Actually, sticking oh. it on the end of the can. That is really good, but probably not good for my mission. Perhaps we'll see. So, okay, so that's could... that's the only monopropellant you have on the entire vessel. Yeah. Wow. So I could pop both of these off. How are you going to dock? Spin the whole thing around. Well, I'll just drive it in. Okay. Um, so I could pop both these Braver off. man than I. Turn right. it around. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You could just pop out this center section and rotate it. And, I, don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. It's probably not worth well, it. Well, I want this pulling. Oh, no, yeah, you're right, you're for right. For the most part. It's probably not worth it. Yeah. Well, here, we can just... No, don't do it. Ah, set the drift in the depths of space. This is the star mole. You've seen it before, I'm sure. I have. It is... Oh, it's even more star moly than it was last time I saw it. I <laughs> no, think. right? It's just a monster. Um, this is, likewise, the, the lifter stage for the core that I left on there. It burns liquid fuel, so I'm just going to burn that to be done with it. Then this whole thing is the outbound stage, and hopefully I'll have some left for the inbound. Mm. This thing in the middle is the return stage uh, kind of section. Mm -hmm. And then this bottom part is the lander and return stage and it's okay. all powered by these ion engines cool and it runs oh, off and you went of for tons and tons of electricity capacitors yeah 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 so it'll run i think about a kilometer a second 
and then it's done for three hours. Mm. So I've got to be able to land it <laughs> with a kilometer a second of DV. Right. And I've got to be able to land it on the bright side of the planet so that it can recharge. Okay. So, so that's going to be interesting. Does this have a docking port on the decoupler? <laughs> no. It just gets can you closer. <laughs> it just gets you closer to the center of mass. Yeah. Ah. Uh, optimistic? I wasn't very confident in my ability to carry out a mission without my Kerbal just running out of snacks. Running right out and dying. Mm hmm. Uh, no. Okay. But so, so yes, you did. You. I, I never turned it on, <laughs> but I did put it inside. Yeah. You intersected your parts. Why did you do that? I don't know. It's prettier. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I will grant you. That your vessel is prettier than my vessel. Uh, alt. What's your design DV? Huh. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, because really two is all you need. You right. don't need four. It, it's like 600 days or something, which uh -huh. it should yeah. be way more than we need. Yeah, and I see. I designed it 600 both ways. If I'm not losing miserably, I won't need anything like 600 days. <laughs> yeah. Take me to the star mole! You see, this is enjoyable for me to watch someone else struggling with assembling their mad contraption in orbit. And then disassembling and assembling it over some minor <laughs> yes. optimization. I still don't know why I'm doing this. I didn't make you do it. I mean, you did it all on your own. Yeah, I did secretly want to do it. <laughs> or else not so secretly. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, look at that. All right, oh, and now you still have your... I just need to go get this guy <laughs> and put him back on. But he has all the modern propellant in the entire world. Yay! No, he's facing the right direction. Oh, no, he's not. He not. Does he want him on the other end? Yeah, okay. So that the two nuclear drace. drives can burn at the same time. Turbine to Drace, earliest departure. It doesn't matter. Where is that thing? Right the heck now. Seriously. It's like... Where is the ship? Have you considered leaving in two years? I have considered leaving, but no, thank you. I will leave right now. I want to have an ejection DV of three and a half meters per second. Three and a half thousand meters per second. I guess that could be good. There are way too many things in this orbit, so it is hard for me to actually place a maneuver node. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I can't click on the right orbit. I think you can deactivate viewing everything. Yeah. All right, just turn off everything but this ship. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. So I want to start burning probably any time. <laughs> any time now. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really matter. And I can start burning prograde boost it up okay oh well look at that i'm already pointed prograde well let's get this party started shall we all right what if i switch ships or something switch over here can you make maneuver nodes you can make maneuver nodes switch back can you make maneuver nodes now now you can make maneuver nodes how about that all right i love how relatively Just sprightly the star mole is nonsense is making sense today for its uh for its size for her size, she's a sprightly craft. Well, good. That's because it's all nice and condensed there. Well, and also because I have, like, reaction wheels on every single element that I sent up. And mm. I sent up somewhere around, what, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I've just got an overabundance of useless craft, except when I want to rotate, and then it's awesome. I do not have that many. All right, here we go. Full burn. Uh... Oh, yeah, there it goes. Liquid fuel engines are burning. I can't hear them. But that's okay. Oh, probably because... Yes, I have them thrust limited down to 9.5%. That is a low number. See, because I know I'm supposed to be spending twice this. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what you can do is you can get the intercept, you know, you just like get an intercept. Mm -hmm. And then when you have an intercept, 
you can set up a maneuver node to move that intercept closer in time a little bit and then just point in that direction and just burn for as long as you have dv and that should keep and you know and keep the the intercept on the planet and it'll just keep getting closer and closer in time you know as you spend more fuel mm -hmm. and so you can kind of do it backwards so you can do an ad hoc solve basically <laughs> you spend as much fuel as you need to get or as much fuel as you have to get where you want to go all right here we go i'm gonna separate stage separation of the base boom doesn't look like anything uh but that's because nothing happened let's try it again oh my goodness well that is what i wanted to happen i suppose i thought i turned the engines off though there we go escape i am on escape and still have 600 dv left I am still fiddling with maneuver nodes. Yay! Go Kerbal Space Program! Yeah. That's better. That looks better. Close okay, that so down. Okay, so here is an encounter, any encounter, using half the Delta V I want to be using. Okay. But it at least shows me kind of the direction that I'm going. Uh-huh. Maybe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Except I'm going faster than that, so... So you can just burn in that direction. And we'll get there, huh? I think so. You might want to wait another orbit. Just so you can start burning way back here. Right. Yeah. Very, very slowly. In our very low orbit. <laughs> what are you at? Uh, uh, no, only 120. Yeah. No, it's not too low. I was at 80. Oh, yeah. Well, at least then your orbits are shorter. Yeah. You still only got 50 times time acceleration, but your orbits are shorter. That's true. But my launch vehicles didn't have, or I didn't want to design my launch vehicles with enough oomph to push them out to 250. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with me. I was like, I don't want to really get that high. I've got to do a lot of these launches and I'm not really feeling like uh, going all the way up. All right. And once we're at 20 degrees or 30 degrees, we'll start burning. Yeah, those gigantors will perfect not that there's anything to catch right now but... mm -hmm. all right and this thing is technically useless because we're just guessing now <laughs> guessing that this is the direction we're supposed to be going <laughs> awesome no, oh no 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 no. no 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 what happened all right i time accelerated this is oh a very bad plan oh wow there it is. Nope. We oh no! Under acceleration. No. The ghost. Because it's us. still wobbling. There we go. Oh, except now you're facing backward. Oh yeah. no! Oh man! The hazards of space flight. Yeah. I didn't actually expect that to happen. I didn't expect maybe that to happen either. Maybe Why? It's because of the one on the back. Oh sure. And it has so much more uh, authority because it's gimbaled. You could lock the gimbal. I should. That might help. Well, they're all gimbaled, actually. And it's also possible that these gimbals are backwards. Oh. I don't know if uh, KSP reverses the gimbals. I'm guessing mm. that it doesn't, which is why people have asked me, please, sir, tweet let, us release, reverse. let us reverse the gimbals. Right. So you know what I'm going to do? Because we are pretty much just ignoring everything and burning straight for Drez. So as long as I'm actually burning relatively towards Drez here, <laughs> I'm probably right. Yeah. Well, like, mine is not actually minute. toward Drez. Why but... am I... Is your something exhaust is hitting pulling. something? Oh not, man, like, that's lined up perfectly here. Ugh. Uh, uh, hey, maybe the the panels, these solar panels, are they far enough back? They should be. All right, we have one pair of tanks depleted. They're definitely both 
taking us where we need to go. So, Undock. I'm guessing we're having trouble because the one on the back, the uh, monopropellant engine on the back, is so much stronger than the ones in the front. Hmm. So, I have turned it down, and it is no longer stronger than the ones on the front. Undock. There we go. So, now we should... So, we should no longer have compression problems. All right, Star Mole, you're starting to look a little bit weirder, if that were possible. But I'm wondering if I should keep my engines on here, just because I've got so much DV and it's so annoying with a low thrust-to-weight mm. ratio. And the empty tanks and are the long pretty burns. light. Yeah. Well, it's the engines. It's the weight of the engines. Right. What is happening right now? I'm going backwards. That is why I had to turn around. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> because when I dropped the thing, the wrong probe core took over. No! <laughs> <laughs> why? Why Kerbal Space Program? Why? And now I have to go clip into the thing again. Only it's moving this time. Oh, you know what? I can stop trying to find a probe core pointed in the right way and just control from a docking node. <laughs> Yay! That just makes things so much easier. All right, here is Dred's ship. I did not give it a clever name. But that is it, looking like it is supposed to look, going in the direction that it is supposed to go. Yes. With all the proper engines in all the proper positions. Mm -hmm. Nice. So this is it. That is probably a better design than mine. Because <laughs> you could just add more fuel tanks on the end. Right. I could put as many of these on here as I want. Nice. And uh, I designed them all in such a way that I took the, the docking ports off. But when I designed them, each of these had two docking ports on them. Mm. And then these and this also had two docking ports on them oh. that exactly matched. So you could put them on and be sure... That they were on and in the right orientation. Yeah. So then you could have extra engines as well. Right. That's cool. Okay. We are well off course. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the great thing about putting maneuver nodes in a place like this, if you, when you build a maneuver node while you're on an escape trajectory, mm. uh, is that as you move off course, you can just watch yourself going off course. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just... Slowly getting further and further away from where you want to be. Mm -hmm. This goes to that. Okay. So the fuel burn logic is awesome. slightly more logical than yours, perhaps, but still not entirely logical. The nacelles right here mm. are empty. Ah. And all these are empty. And all these are empty. Oh, no. But the big tank here and the big tank here are still full. Okay. And this big tank is on its way. So soon I will be able to drop this bit. Are you sure all the ones around the circumference are empty? There's no good reason for them not to be. True. And unlike with my design, that probably means that they are in fact empty. <laughs> Alright, they definitely are empty. Cool. So I am watching this one because I will soon be able to drop it. I just turned off cross flow on all the ones I didn't want to drain, and then the engines turn off. <laughs> mm. And then I have to jettison some stuff and turn the other stuff back on. Right. Well, this is going to burn for a good long time. Thrust to weight is four. Oh, you know why, too? Because I'm probably higher up in altitude than you are. Oh, yeah, so I'm not actually is lower. looking at the thrust to weight thing. I'm just looking at my acceleration here mm. and saying that I'm going right. a little more than half a G. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm only going 3.4. All right, first fuel pod is gone. Bye-bye, fuel pod. You're almost twice what I am. My acceleration? Yeah. Wow, how about that? Hmm. So I have three and a half left in the outgoing, and that is... That probably accurate. is probably yeah, correct. Yeah. This is the uh, but engines. the one or so that comes after that is not correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I've got 1.2. Yeah, I don't know. 
because the ion stage is actually only intended to move the uh, just one pod. Right. Right. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think my ion sled is... What is it at? Seven, I think. Seven kilometers a second. Mm -hmm. But that's got to last through the landing as well. And that's probably going to be about a kilometer a second up and down. Mm, right. What's your thrust to weight for your landing in Andres? I it's do probably not insanely high because you've got a. I've got a seven S yeah. on the end here. Yeah, it's probably like seven or eight. Yeah. I want to say I shot for five. I wouldn't let it go below five. Mm. Um. But I don't know. I don't remember. It is more than one. Yeah. I remember that much. Yeah. It has to be more than one. Mine is more than two. I think it's like 2.4 or 2.6 or something like that, which should be plenty. I've landed, I think the lowest I landed with was an ion on Minmus. Mm. And that's pretty rough. That's yeah. like one point. Well, it's like new one ion or old ion? Old ion. It was like 1.2. Yeah. And I was burning it pretty much max burn all the way down mm -hmm. <laughs> and and bathing it and it was like three in the morning or whatever and i'm like oh, i can't lose this probe and of course it's like a tiny little probe and right i could have just quick loaded it and didn't matter but that's a testament a testament to the value of Kerbal space program and in, in its how it makes you believe that you're actually flying this very delicate, valuable piece of machinery. Yeah. Really, it's just like, especially with loading, it's just like, no, this doesn't mean anything, but it's like, it means something to you because mm -hmm. you built it and you got it all the way out there and you don't want to see it crash into the ground. Yeah. By any chance, are we encountering Drez? No, we are not. What is that? Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna wait until we're around the sun. <laughs> it's just gonna make things yes. easier. Yes, yes. I I'm probably gonna do that too. I'm gonna get down to about 200 meters a second left. All right. In four hours, we're gonna be around the sun. Cool. So just make that happen. Yeah, out of 300 day journey. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're well and truly not getting any help from Oberth anymore. So yeah. We can just stop caring. And it's just going to be so much more straightforward from here. You haven't actually left it yet because the, the things don't change until you cross the magical number that is Kerbin's sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. But you go outside of the actual physics because the, the number that mm. is the hard set number that is this is the end of Kerbal's sphere of influence doesn't actually apply correctly. Um, or it's arbitrary. And so... What you're actually looking for is when your velocity and position and eccentricity and stuff like that are all this or that. Right. And... Alright. Let's get ourselves reasonably close to another node. So when you're at time warp zero, you're in under physics. And so the physics system is like... Well, you're under Sol, right? Well, here's your orbit. And then the actual plotter is looking at your orbital numbers and it's like, uh, okay. But I thought we were somewhere else and so it gets confused or whatever. Yeah. Basically, you're, you're at a position where... Okay, now you're, you're going for a slower transfer? No. Going for a faster one. Faster transfer. Earlier... In the orbit. Okay, right, right. Hey, look, it's an encounter in 328 days. All right, well, that's happening. So it's time to go design the ship that will actually bring good SAML home. It can be really simple. But it also doesn't have to be because we have enough money to make it not simple and tons of time to build it. <laughs> I have such a terrible time putting parachutes on the three-man pod. 
because there's just no place to do it that doesn't wind up looking stupid for some reason. Yeah, cool. I don't need to launch it for a very long time. I must <laughs> not launch it now because they only have 30 days of life support. <laughs> and Samuel will be gone for much longer than 30 days. I wish there was a way to just say, suck all of the resources of this type into this container. So there is a mod that does that. Oh, nice. Called TAC Fuel Balancer. And you can even oh, tell yeah, it to I've do things that. like balance my fuel evenly between all of the things that are like this. And it will just do that all the time. Um, and Andy. it's pretty cool. It's slightly cheaty, hmm. but only slightly. Man. As long as I remember not to put three kerbals in it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put some scotch tape. This seat for Samuel. But I have enough money to build three of them. Okay, well. So I will build at least two. <laughs> You'll have two welcoming parties racing to get the race guy home. Yeah. All right. Oh, I have the Dres resupply ship is going to be built in three hours. Three days, sorry. Three days. And so that one... Uh, I'm going to launch two Drez. Nine minutes. Oh, as a follow-up. Right. So if he gets stuck there, this should get there before he dies. Mm. Uh, oh, dear. The staging on this was wrong. <laughs> well, it's still pushing from the backstage, so just keep pushing backstage until you run out of fuel and we will wind up with very high orbit. <laughs> oh no. I didn't check the staging. <laughs> you just dumped half the ship. And everything inside the fairing. I meant to jettison the fairing. Oh no. Everything inside the fairing is now loose. Oh no. But it's still being pushed. All right. Well, yeah, as long as it's contained. We're pushing it like 3 Gs right now, so Oh no. It's not going to fall off. <laughs> um that's a little spooky. I don't even know how much fuel that has left, but we're still going. We've got an apoapsis of 450 and climbing. Oh, and now we're veering off axis somewhat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's veering off axis. Is the ship going to fall over? <laughs> no. That's a fine question. What no, is going to happen to this ship? Over. Now it's burning marginally retrograde. <laughs> now it's burning actually retrograde oh no it oh, is actually falling over <laughs> okay here we are here we are we're, we're, we're slowly <laughs> coming disentangled all right what just happened <laughs> we're safe outside maybe the vessel i i feel like actually is there a, supposed to be something connected well, to that my, ship? My throttle is going up and down, but nothing is happening. Is your is your electricity... Yeah, I'm all out of electricity. Yeah. Do you have any stats at... Can I open this? Panels? Nope. Can't open it. Do you have any stats? Oh, yeah, you do. you got some little stat panels around the edge. I do? I think so. I don't think I do. No? That oh. doesn't sound like something that I would have done. Oh. That's always something I do, because I always forget to open my panels. Yeah, uh, no, oh, see, because I was supposed to have the fairing off before this part, which has a generator in the engine, was gone. Mm, right. So, all right, well, we'll just build another one. <laughs> this is all going to come back down. <laughs> this is all a terrible mistake. <laughs> in uh, about half an hour, it's going to crash. So, let's build ourselves another resupply supply ship and check the staging before we launch it <laughs> that was all a simulation right no you paid for that i wonder if we have enough money to actually build another dress resupply well, what? i thought you said you could build three i can build three saml rescue ships and i oh. have queued two for building but i do not have enough money to launch another dress resupply ship. oh dear so i could cancel one of the saml home ships and i think that would give me some of my money back or if I have a quick contract that I can do for 30000 
satellite mm. in a specific orbit of Kerbin for 81,000. All right, let's do that. That's what I get for trusting past me to have checked staging. Past me never checks his staging. <laughs> Only present me checks staging. <laughs> this is very confusing for future me. <laughs> future me, why? All right. We can afford to build this very fine... You, sir, can afford this very fine vessel. I opted not to bring any antennas because it doesn't matter. I'm, I, I'm not sure now that I brought any either. I almost <laughs> always bring antennas. I know. It's like I brought all these extra engines. I brought all this extra fuel. No extra antennas. No antennas at all. So, revisiting the Dres resupply ship here <laughs> and revising its staging like this. See, that's that's just so much better. That's all that needed to happen. And while we're here, let's give it some launch clamps. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't want you to make any maneuvers. It's like, yeah. but I really need one because I need to do a maneuver. Right. <laughs> I don't want a hyperbolic escape. All right. Now building another Dres resupply ship. When you go faster, do you go out? and forward or in and forward when you're speeding up your transfer to speed up your transfer you want to go forward and yeah you want to pull it out because you want Drez to be farther this way okay um right because Drez's speed isn't going to change so if you get to Drez here instead of here then you've got there faster right I am not changing the speed of Drace. This is a good thing to keep in mind. Yes. <laughs> it is It is only one thing you're controlling, and it is not the planets. So did you ever manage to create a maneuver node? No. No, I'm just, just flying by the seat of my pants here. Just seat of the pants, rocket science. Very good. That is also what I am doing. It doesn't feel good, but... It, might no it's not working actually so know. it both feels bad and is not working properly <laughs> that's more or less the only way i fly my satellite missions these days well the satellite missions are fine uh because you're not trying to rendezvous with anything that is true so the new version of kerbal construction time hmm. requires you to roll your things out to the launch pad and roll them back if you decide not to launch them wow it's only another few hours or something like that, but... But adds up. It adds a, a little bit of complexity there, and if you decide, wait, no, I didn't want to launch that one, <laughs> then you have to roll it all the way back, and it takes just as long. Can you see it? No. Oh, man. See, that's what I want. I want to be able to see yeah. it rolling But the guy the who programs pad. that, I'm pretty sure he's a little bit more on my end of the modding spectrum. Okay. Yeah, where he knows capability. how to program but does not know how to model sure it's good to be burning again mm -hmm. is this the return no, no this so is this now. is for the resupply ship oh okay no just burn now i mean you has... you're gonna have to catch up to him right no 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 because it's only good it only needs to be there if he can't get back Okay. Right, so it has some extra fuel and it has some extra life support and things like that. It doesn't yeah, need to yeah. go back. It only needs to get there if something goes wrong and he can't get back. Yeah. And it'll help him get back. So it doesn't really matter as long as it gets there within his what's its, current life support. What's his DV? It has 5.8 okay. left. So the current, this one here, total of th three would yeah, be no, really you, easy. You don't want that one, yeah. But... We could probably do something more 5. like that. 5.7? Yeah. That's pretty tight, though. I mean, I... Yeah. I wouldn't fly that mission. Back. Oh, one point four. All right, here. 5.1. Let's do that. And so I just... I wound up time warping way past what I actually needed to do. So okay. now I have another node to slightly adjust the 
periapsis um, in hopes that it makes the retrograde burn later a little cheaper. Seven um, kilometers a second left, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm not going to make it. Oh, man. Eight. No, yeah, you're not going to make it at all. But we're going to do it anyway and see what it gets us. 8.2. You could always infinite fuel cheat. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. 8.136 is what we actually need to get where we're going. All right. I think I'm going to live with... Oh, there we go. 348 days. Is that what I was planning on originally? 348 Yes. Yeah, pretty good. There we go. Blink. That's as far as it's going. And to its credit, it went a long way. It did go a long way. But a I long, doubt long way. that actually fulfills the contract. Nope. Not within 5%. Oh, well, <sighs> oh, well indeed. Oh, well, indeed. Now that we have just super profitably spent that time <laughs> well you know i was i was fiddling around with stuff so you we're can gonna, imagine that it was for my benefit so we're gonna go jump to that i we just skipped another 35 days well waiting refused on that. yeah i refused to do any missions that would not yield any returns before the launch mm. of the mission just because it was like i th there's no point you know for me there's no benefit there so right Half empty, and that one's about half empty. Well, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> oh dear. The good news is, um, you're probably gonna win. <laughs> oh no! What happened? So I don't. I did have extra in these ion sleds when there was nothing but a pod on them, but when there is also all of this liquid fuel, oh, there is not much no. extra. In them. So, I actually probably don't even have enough to capture. Oh no, you burned too much at the beginning. Mm-hmm. No, oh, that's so sad. Oh man. I think... You should just, okay, you should just infinite fuel cheat so you can complete the mission, because I wanted, I want you to complete the mission. All right. Well, if we're going to do that... I need like two hours <laughs> to finish capturing, and what? that's two hours away. So what? we will capture. So we'll just be really far away. So with you're it. not even gonna. Oh no. Oh no. Life support. Life support. Good. Yeah. That. I should probably have just put another fuel tank on the back of that for good measure. Or we shouldn't turn it on until we're out. So that way everything will be lighter. Mm. <laughs> and things will happen faster. Okay, here we go. What? I was spurting in the wrong direction again. Oh, no. Was I? <laughs> yes, I was. Why? For the same reason as I was last time. <laughs> it's those, pex those pesky... Uh, no, oh, because you undocked. Yeah, they get the things at the point that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are empty. I'm going to shuck them. Okay. These are all empty. Ah! No! Ah! Oh my goodness. What just exploded? Uh, I think all the things that I didn't care about, I hope. Well, that's a good set of things that are exploding <laughs> why did they why did they eject with such incredible ferocity were they clipped into something i don't know if they're clipped into something a little bit sometimes that'll happen oh no but they both did it with perfect okay well they were perfectly synchronized anyway oh um you're just hoping everything works when I start it back up? She looks like it does. You're not veering wildly off course? No, 
I think I'm okay. Whimper, whimper. <laughs> Explosions make me nervous. <laughs> because, <laughs> because unlike a fuel problem, exploded spaceship is not something I can fix. Right. Are you still outbound? Yeah, I have no past Drez. There oh, we go. There you are. Nice. To complete our super terrible capture burn. <laughs> Just the worst capture. Mm-hmm. So did you save enough ion fuel to uh, make a somewhat kosher return burn? Yeah, I've saved. I saved all the ion fuel. I didn't save any of the liquid fuel. I figure okay. if we're going to do... You'll just do, yeah. Yeah. Cheat landing and return. And that makes the landing easier. Yeah. Since it's You don't have to care lighter. about it so much. Yeah. I might just, since I don't have to care about that, I might even just save myself the orbital rendezvous and bring the ion section down to the planet. Oh, with me. and bring the whole thing with you. Because why not? I Well, it's a little less gangly, but yeah. Yeah, but if I pull the solar panels in, it won't even be that bad. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose my ion section is a bit more... Uh, wonky I was designing the return vessel and I'm like all right I'm going to add this thing and I was like well if I'm going to have one of these then I was originally designing it around a nuke and I was like well I should just have four engine pods and I'm like well if I got engine pods and I just add capacitors I wonder how long these would last and I did some simulations and I'm like my goodness I don't need a nuke at all wow which is good because nukes are so expensive they are quite expensive Oh, you mean the reactors? Yeah. Yeah. I started designing for a reactor, and then I was like, oh, I, I don't have anywhere near that kind of money. I'm just going <laughs> to yeah. discount that idea now. <laughs> That's what I found out as well. <laughs> I was like, all right. I researched it. I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm going to have a nuclear reactor-powered thing. I'm like, all right, so I've got this is my budget, and uh, I'm going to have to, oh, how much does this cost? And so I go and look at it, and it's like, oh. Mm -hmm. 250,000 or whatever for the first or was it 400 it was like 400,000 for the first one and then 250,000 for each one after that not that I need more than one but right oh no no because you have to do the first purchase and you have to buy it to build it mm. so it was like 650,000 mm -hmm. just yes. to put a reactor on your and I was like oh man cannot afford that All right, Samuel, hop out of your little ship there and go collect the science that's hiding in those instruments, since apparently there's no better way to do it, because you haven't invented <laughs> data transfer yet. They don't have space cat six cables. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Neither do we. No? No. Nothing as fancy as Cat6 cables anyway. What do they use? Twisted pair, maybe, if they're lucky. Sheesh. Wow. Probably old serial stuff. They're, or axle they're or something. Like the highest speed processor that's anywhere but the International Space Station is like 30 years old. Wow. It's a 30-year-old processor with 30 years of radiation hardening on it. <laughs> oh, there's nothing over there. We don't need to look at the seismometer right now. <laughs> you don't need to look at my seismometer. I'm going to put down the landing gear and retract these big panels. Because I'm pretty sure that infinite fuel doesn't actually stop the ion engines from needing electric charge. Mm. Oh, I know what we didn't do. We didn't do an EVA report from out here. Good job, Samuel. <laughs> While plummeting to the ground.
magic reaction wheels. <laughs> yep. Now that is a goofy looking spaceship. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, what have I done? Well, I can still hope for a draw. Perhaps you have made a crucial mistake. Perhaps I have. I, it certainly looks as if I have made a crucial mistake, whether or not it is a reality. Samuel does not like being here. No. <laughs> He's like, no, no. You know why? He's been trapped in that pod for... That's true. Well, he likes Time Warp much better. So now that we have Time Warp back, we can watch the sunset. All right. So if this was a real thing, then the way this would work is uh, when we got to orbit and got back to the ion sled, we would drop the fuel tank. And so this is all we would have left. And so this right here would be what brings Samuel home. And it would look just like this. Because this is what it was actually supposed to be. This is the whole return ship. Right. The moral of that story is we just needed to get home immediately. That was the whole idea. Right. As soon as you're done. This mission is just crazy. I need to not fall to the ground. Please, please, I don't want to land this whole thing. But why not? Because it has no landing gear and will collapse. <laughs> that is a fine reason, sir. <laughs> it will be my end. Just like in real life. It happens. There's a asteroid that people started tracking and they were like, Oh no, it's going to hit the Earth. And we kept tracking it and kept tracking it, and it didn't hurt, hit the Earth because the moon ejected it. <laughs> and then uh, somebody got some reasonably detailed telescope pictures of it, and it's actually a Saturn S4 booster. <laughs> <laughs> it just got all the way around with us, oh, and the man. moon pulled it back in That's and then spat awesome. it back out. <laughs> But it looked big because it was so reflective to radar. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah, and this is Kenkin. He's the you know the guy who lived through that one oh, that's right. horrific launch. So here is here's the tricky part. All right, Samuel is back in orbit of the sun. Okay, I actually have a checklist. Trace landing pre-check is complete for Drace landing. Oh, except now we're practically over the place where we wanted to land. Are we? Oh no, no, it's way over there. Down that node. Oh, oh dear. So that means burn right now. Burn, burn, burn. <laughs> I think we're going to make it and not die. Uh, still frighteningly quick. Okay. Okay, we can do this. No. 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 Oh. So sad. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm pretty sure Samuel's going to die before he gets back. What? No, why? The return I have here isn't as fast as I thought it was going to be. And it's also possible that because some things report the transits in days and some report them in years in days, that I may have mistakenly thought that years were 300 some days long, not 400 some days long. When I was thinking oh, about no. how much life support he needed. Oh, no. Cut it too close. I cut it too close, too. I, I messed up the landing. Messed up the landing. He lived. It just blew up all the engines. So now he is stuck there forever. 
stuck forever. He's got uh, RCS. Yep. All right. Well, it's a noble endeavor. I can still return the main craft. Let's see. There's no control pod on there. Yeah, there's no control pod. <sighs> well, we have both failed. <laughs> we have both failed. Oh, well. Mine because of conservative or liberal design and yours because of liberal flying. Liberal piloting. I had plenty of stored charge. I should have just burned the engines the whole way until I stopped. But I didn't. All right. Well, uh, there's the return craft. Star mold. I could just fly the star mold back and, and see what burns up in the atmosphere. Because there's still this. There's still this parachute connected to a heat shield. That'll almost certainly survive. Yes, it probably will. There we go. Down. If Samuel had 13 kilometers per second left, he could get to Eve before he died. <laughs> oh my. I had a much better solution at one point where he could get to Kerbin much faster than he is getting to Kerbin now, but still mm -hmm. after he died. Oh. So instead, I'm going to take... I'm going to let it go on this course here and get it to Kerbin in an orbit. And then we can send someone up to go get the science that Samuel sacrificed himself for. Yes. Himself and his actual reality. Off we go. Oh, and there he goes, far below us. Goodbye, Paul's Kerbal. Ah! Oh dear. Oh, and that did it. That finally, yeah. There we go. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Engines, when they separate off, they do this crazy... Oh, the... They flip around. The separators. Oh. Yeah. All right. So I have no command authority anymore. Because there is... Oh, no. There's a, there's a pod on here. And I've got RCS. Boom. I don't think I have 700 meters a second of RCS, though. That is a lot of RCS. Don't need life support anyway. Undock that. Oh. Except that I'm a dummy, because that's what the control pod was connected to. Oops. It's <laughs> okay. You didn't have 700 meters per second of RCS. I didn't have the RCS anyway. All right, well, I exposed several design flaws in this whole thing. Okay, so would you have been able to capture and land if you had brought another fuel thing? Had not cheated. I don't know because it doesn't get it didn't give a very accurate read of my delta V. Yeah. Um yeah. But the answer is probably no. Probably not both capture and land. All right, so um, I'm going to call that a win for me, just because I got yeah. there and landed, I'm pretty even sure. though I exploded everything <laughs> and failed in every way to get anything back to Kerbin. I probably should have practiced. Let's see, is there a way to, once I got into orbit around Drace, I could have run a simulation Right, you could have duplicated that ship in the of editor. The lander. And then... Oh, well, I yeah. already have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so see... Simulation complete! <laughs> <laughs> if, if we were responsible space programmers, we would actually have waited for the second Drez window so that we could have sent a probe in the first place so that we could have simulated on Drez. Yes. Or else built a really tiny probe and just given it like 15,000 meters per second and sent it <laughs> even that is very very difficult to do yeah it gets very expensive to get it there before you can send the mission unless yeah you send you send a probe on this window and then you send the actual window on the next window right but i mean the whole point of it I, you know this is mm -hmm. kind of the whole point is that it was an irresponsible let's get there as fast as possible yeah sacrifice everything to do it 
and we did and you know the outcome was as expected Mm -hmm. speaking as uh (laughs) one of two who failed to complete the mission really Mm -hmm. this was really not that hard of a challenge it was taxing in the sense that it required a lot of planning and required a lot of persistence um but most of it was just the normal tech up get the stuff you need to get to space ah uh, so even if you had done the burns all correctly he and the landing and died. everything you would have died yep. <laughs> 50 or 100 days before you got back mm-hmm. oh no all right well that is a good enough orbit so I could send someone up to go get that surface sample, but since we got here by cheating, I probably won't. Right. But it was fun anyway. It was fun. It was a good challenge and many lessons learned, which is the important part. 